Hi there, Gareth the Channel Profits here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly turn articles and blogs into original high converting videos that you can then use to start making money from YouTube. This is the exact process I use to build YouTube automation channels for profit. I'll put links in the video description to free accounts and discounts for all of the tools I'll be using, along with more in-depth step-by-step training on how I personally build channels for profit. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'll also show you a sneaky way to ethically steal your competitors' video scripts to make them your own. With that said, let's get started. So the first step is that we want to go into our AI tool for script writing. I use a tool called Jasper AI. And again, I'll put links in the description to all of these tools, along with any discounts. You can actually get a free trial to get started with this. So you'll be able to start writing your scripts without paying a dime. You will want the boss mode account because we're going to want access to documents in the side here. And the great thing about this tool is that it's going to allow us to do things like spinning the text, but it's actually going to use the AI to actually write the copy for you in an original way, just as an actual script writer would if you were outsourcing this. So once inside, go to documents and select the plus icon, and then go to start from scratch. And you're going to see a document view just like this. And this is where we're going to start building out our video script and letting the tool do most of the work for us. And you're going to see how powerful this tool is. Now, obviously, you could go around different blog posts and rewrite things, but this is a very time consuming process. And the idea of what I'm going to show you today is that I want you to be able to create videos in under an hour. So in under an hour, whereas if you are writing the script yourself, it may take you a couple of hours to even just do that one single step. So the idea is that everything I'm gonna show you is going to shortcut the process for you. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into Google, or I'm assuming that you've done some type of competition research. Again, if you're not really sure on how to do that, I do have other training videos on the channel, or if you want more in-depth training, again, I'll put some links in the video description, taking you through the process of planning out your content. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna shortcut it and jump straight to finding blog posts and articles that I can use. So if we go into Google and we would say, okay, what are we gonna write about? So for the example of this, I'm gonna say why you should get a bulldog. So why you should get a bulldog. So let's talk about dogs for this. Now it's worth noting that these tools, they're not gonna work for every type of video. If you're writing a video on a very technical subject, then obviously it's only gonna be able to help you to rewrite it slightly. It's not gonna be able to necessarily write it for you. It is gonna be limited to what it can do for you in terms of actually getting technical knowledge out there. But for lots of general things that's talking about lifestyle, dogs, relationship, health, anything like that, then this is really gonna work very, very well. So as I said, for the sake of this video, we're going to pick a blog post or article that is about why you should get an English Bulldog. So let's assume that my channel is about dogs or maybe just about English Bulldogs completely. And I've got one here at the top that says 10 reasons why you should own a English Bulldog. And as we can see, it's 10 points listed out and the writing tool is always going to work a bit better with list style articles, although you can use it as you get more proficient with it to write just about any type of article. So coming up here, I can say, okay, this is the title that I want. So maybe I'm going to do 10 points. Maybe I'm going to do fewer than 10 points. But I want to come back across here and just paste this in here. I don't then want to highlight it, make it my title. I'm then going to put it in the side part here because I want to give the tool some information to understand what it is that I'm doing so it'll be able to help me later on. But I'm literally going to give it commands to tell it to what to write for me. We'll just paste that in there. And we can say it's going to be an article call about, so we could say YouTube. And we could say the style of the voice, the way I want it to write. The great thing about this AI is that it understands writing styles. It's much more than just a typical content spinner. It's not just going to reword it. It's actually going to completely write it. So we select witty. You can put some keywords here. I'm just going to say, okay, let's put Bulldog, actually English Bulldog. I then want to select longer because I want it to write as much content as possible. And then what I'm going to do is come back across to our blog post, highlight the intro, come back across, and I'm just going to paste that, move down and paste that here. So we have an intro. 
Now, I could rewrite the intro quite easily myself, so I don't need it to re really write anything too original here. So what I can do is just highlight that and then go into the spinner part here, which is going to rephrase it. So this isn't really going to be trying to create something new. It's just going to re-spin that intro for me. So it has the benefit of doing both. So if I select that, it then generates something that's similar from the intro. So we could look at this and go, okay, how different is it? So I'm not that happy with that. Let's try that again. There we go. This looks much better and much different to the original text. So I'm going to go, yes, I'll keep that. And again, I can reword this slightly later on if I want, as the intro is pretty easy to do. And then we go down. And now we have the points that we want to add. So we have our intro and we go, okay, I want to write about why bulldogs are adorable. And we can see that they've literally just put a very small piece of information here. And I don't want to just respin that. I want something more than that. So I, all I need is the title because the tool is going to do the work for me. So I could go, okay, I'll paste that here. And this could be a subheading. So we could go number one, they're adorable. And now I want to write something about this. So if I come up here, I can go into power mode and you can write commands to actually just get it to type. But I actually find it easier when doing this list style to go straight into the paragraph generator here. So if I just clear my inputs from before and we'll just delete these, delete these, delete these. And then we go, okay, what do I want it to write? I want to say why English all dogs are adorable. Okay, so we can then go English Bulldogs again, the style of the voice, we'll just go witty again to keep that tone. And then we can go, okay, generate AI content. Now we can come down and as you can see, it's generated a number of different options for me. And depending on how much I want to actually use, I may pick some of this or a little bit of it or more of it. And you can just decide which one is better for you. So we can see it's completely original content. It looks and sounds great. And what I actually find is often it writes better than I do. So it's very friendly. Like these dogs are notorious for their adorable appearance with their wide heads and plump bodies. This is great. Super cute. So I'm just going to go, okay, this one's great. I'll go here and move it across there. Now I have my one single point ready to go. So for the sake of this video, we will just do a few of these options. So again, I can go clear inputs. I can delete all of these options again. And we can start again. Back across, option two. So actually, we'll take the full number and come down, paste that again. And you can build this out like it's a Word document. So you can just ready to go later on. You store it inside here. We can do things like check grammar with Grammarly here. We can check how original it is with Copyscape, as you can add in here. So you can do everything inside this tool to make sure it's 100% original. Although, to be honest, whenever I get the AI to write it, it's always 100% original. The re-spinning of stuff like I did with this, using this icon here, they, there's a risk that the odd word might not be original. So you may want to check it and let's just change it slightly to make sure it's original. So again, we say they are full of personality. So why are English bull... So why are English Bulldogs full of personality? English Bulldogs, again, witty. Generate content. And so again, this has gone away and it's, it's literally learned from millions and millions of documents and websites and books online to understand how things are written. It's taken information from everywhere else and it's decided how to write that together like a real human being would in the tone that you want. So we can say here again, if you're looking for a pet that's full of personality, an English bulldog is the perfect choice. These lovable dogs have a wide range of expressions from comical to couch potato. So here we go, personality, you could even, if you didn't want to say if you're looking to get a, a, you could literally just start from an English bulldog here. So I could say, that's great. We could ever wondered why, wonder why English bulldogs are full of personality. The simple answer is they were bred that way for centuries, blah, blah, blah. 
When it comes to personality, English bulldogs are full of it. Adorable flat faces, wiggly butts. So great, this is very fun. I'm going to again go with this one. And I'm going to say I just want to get rid of that bit because we already know. I don't want to start it with if you're looking for in everything. What you will realize is that these tools may be a little bit re repetitive in the odd line. So you will want to remove the odd line. You will want to reread it. And just like anything, you're going to have to make the odd correction. But as you can see how quickly I'm building this out. So we'll go with one more. So I'm not going to do the full 10. Come across. One of the best dogs for children. Okay, great. Why are they the best dogs for children? And we can actually change these titles a bit to make them a bit more original ourselves as well. I don't really waste time getting the AI to write titles and headings out for me. These are easy to adjust on your own. So it's probably quicker for you just to reword this slightly rather than getting the AI tool to do that for you. So then come back across and we go remove, remove, remove. Why are English Bulldogs? Okay, why are English Bulldogs one of the best dogs for children? Let's go again. So here we go, it's done it again. There are many reasons why English Bulldogs are one of the best dogs for children. For one, they are very patient and good-natured. Again, this is great. You can see how high quality this is. So many different reasons. So again, just read through the one that you like the most. Select here, move it across, and then decide if you want to change anything. And you can see how quickly I've been able to build this out. So now perhaps I say I want to write a conclusion for this. So maybe I want to give it a command. So obviously we're in power mode now, but I can go back in and there's a whole list of different commands that they give you in here that you can use just to be able to write different things. But even if you give it general instructions that aren't even here, it will be able to work out what you want to say or what it wants to. The AI will work out what you want it to do based on what you're asking it to do. So I could say generate. So I've said generate a conclusion for the above content with call to action to subscribe to my channel. Highlight that. I can click here if I want or command return on Mac. And there we go. If you're looking for a dog that's full of personality, loves to cuddle and is perfect for children, the English Bulldog is the breed for you. You see how it related some of the information to the three points I've already done. To see more adorable, okay, so probably would want to reword that slightly, of English Bulldogs and learn about why they are great pets, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. So you can see that's great. Probably a couple of things I want to reword there. I could get it to reword it here, to rephrase again, to say, okay, not quite happy with the, the wording. Okay, so I could keep saying, getting it to reword it again, or I could go in with different commands like I did just a minute ago to say, okay, let's talk, talk about rewriting, improving content, and I can use different commands here to get it to rewrite it again. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to say that I'm pretty happy with this. And you can see how you could have easily built out the 10 points and within 15, max 20 minutes, you would have your script ready to go. To be honest, we could have probably done this in about 10 minutes, but you're going to want to read through it. And now I have this, I'm going to want to record my voiceover. Now you could record it yourself, or you could send it off at this point to someone that's going to read the script for you, or you could use an AI robot voice, but I really don't recommend doing that as YouTube doesn't like to monetize these types of channels anymore. It doesn't like robotic automated types of videos. So I would advise creating, even if it's your second language, it's going to be better for you to use your own voice or getting someone else to do it. You can go on websites like fiverr.com when you're starting out and you can get voiceovers done for 10 to $15. They're not going to be that expensive. And then as you grow, maybe you could find your person and work out a deal for them to do even discounted where you're buying voiceovers in bulk. So the next thing we want to do is record it. And there's a tool called Descript that I like to use. And what I can do is just come inside Descript, select new project. And again, I'll put links in the description. Descript is a fantastic tool that I use for recording my videos, but also for transcribing my videos so I can use these subtitles later. 
but also to record my voiceovers because I can edit it like it's a text document. So I can literally start to speak into here. So I could say record. So I can drop anything in here. I could start to record. The doesn't have the option here because I'm actually already recording with Descript. So it's probably not going to allow me. But you would simply come in to the option that you would have at the top normally. So you click record and then you would be able to start speaking and it's going to write it out like a text document. And then you're going to be able to edit that, remove breath, breath sounds, and then download that script for you to use in the next step. Now, I have created many videos on using Descript. There is a, a free account to get started. As I said, it will be a link in the description. So you can start to record your voiceovers for free. So for me, there's no reason not to use it. You could use anything on your computer or you could actually do it in the next tool that I'm going to show you. But I recommend using Descript because the ease with which you can edit in here is going to be much, much easier and the quality of sound is going, going to be better. Because I can clip these to basically remove any errors to make them shorter and then I'm going to use the next tool to be able to sync it to that voiceover. So in my experience, if I use the other types of tools, I don't have any editing functionality over the voiceover so the quality is always lower. So again, this tool is called Descript and it's completely free to get started. The third tool we want to use is called Pictory. Now, Pictory is a tool that's going to basically auto-generate your videos for you. And I often like to use whiteboard videos and different types of animated videos, but when I start a channel, at least the first 40 or so videos, I like to use this tool for because it's so fast for me to create videos so I can grow channels to monetization very, very quickly. And then when it's starting to make money, if I want, I can step up the quality of the videos. Though, to be honest, by using the videos this generates and adding a few extra annotations and details using my editing software, I still use this all of the time. So I find this to be an absolutely fantastic tool. And I do actually have a, they have a free account for this. And again, I'll put links in the description, but I also have a 20% discount code that they gave me. And I will put that in the description as well, because if you do want to remove the watermarks, you will have to upgrade at some point. But you can use the free account to try things out, to make sure you like the videos. You could literally create all of your videos inside, pay for one month, download them all, and, and then not pay for a while. Again, so it's completely up to you how you use it. But this tool is going to create the videos for you, and it's going to use stock footage videos from sites like Storyboards, and it's actually cheaper than getting Storyboards monthly, which is crazy for me. So not only does it automate the process for you, but it's also cheaper. So you're gonna to want to select the script to video option. So we go proceed. We then are going to want to come back across to our document, the name of the title, back across, paste that here, back across, copy, back across, and we just paste that in here. Now, what you can do if you want to make the AI better at finding the right videos, what, what it's going to do is it's, it's AI again. So it's actually going to read through the document and decide what videos to match to different scenes. We can change these ourselves, but the more information we give it, the better quality the matching is going to be. Personally, I don't like to spend too much time here highlighting the words that I want it to target because I find it just as quick to change them later myself. So it's not always going to perfectly match the right video but you can quickly change it yourself. So I don't really use this, but again, as I said, you could say, okay, it's important to talk about bulldogs. So I could say English bulldogs, and I could say that's important that we highlight that, and it'll knows to register videos or pick up videos for those particular keywords throughout all the different scenes. So if you're breaking this all down into different scenes, you may want to break it down even further and say, okay, I'll put spaces to move things down to different points, but I'm gonna keep these together for the sake of this video and then go proceed. Then from here, it's gonna ask what style you like. So if you want text on your videos, and I do like some text, I, I tend to prefer to add it afterwards, but we'll go through how to remove the text if you don't want it in every scene or if you want to remove it from all scenes. But if you do want some text, then just decide on the style you like, the way it enters, uh, how it looks, and just let you pick any one. I like the ones that often type like this, so I'm gonna go for that one. Pick the landscape for YouTube, and then just wait for it to generate. Okay, and then once it's generated, you're going to see that your story has been broken down into scenes. So it's literally broken all of the text that you put in down into scenes. 
and then it's matched it to different videos and with the text here going over the top all along. You can then see the different visuals where we can change and we'll go through that in just a moment. We can add different audios. So at this point, I may say, okay, it's automatically picked some music for me. Let's just play that. Probably a little too aggressive. So I could go, okay, let's go, let's go acid jazz. Let's try a couple of these. That sounds quite good fun. So for the sake of this video, let's just apply that to all of it. And then go audio. Now it's important that you always put a voiceover on these types of videos. Again, it's fine using stock footage videos, but YouTube doesn't like content that's repetitive and that has been used multiple times. And as people are using stock footage videos all of the time, it will recognize some of that as repetitive. So you have to make sure you are putting a voiceover in there. Otherwise you aren't making that content very original at all other than your script. So what I like to do is take down the volume. I don't like the music to be too loud because I want to be able to hear the voiceover. So when I've done that, I can come across to voiceovers. And what you would normally do is you would select your voiceover here, upload the file, select apply it to all video. So I could go this one and just go entire video. And then it's automatically going to sync to the entire video matching with the text. And that's the reason I prefer this tool above others. Other tools don't sync the voiceover. Now you could actually record your voice over here if you actually wanted to create one. But again, I said, as I said before, I recommend that you upload one from Descript or other tools outside of this tool that you can actually edit properly. For the sake of this video, we're going to do what I, what I tell you not to do. We're going to use a voiceover. Welcome to Pictory. So I normally wouldn't recommend this at all, but just for the sake of this video. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video. So we will apply that voiceover. A little bit mundane, but again, it's just for the example of this video. I would normally be uploading my own. And now we can play the first scene. There are many types of dogs to choose from, each with their own unique features and personalities. So you can see that looks great. Most of these scenes seem to look good, but they're not all bulldogs. And I definitely want the first scene to work with a bulldog. And I can see adorable love hearts. Okay. Maybe you want to use that. Maybe you don't think it's right. But a lot of these scenes have nothing to do really, unless these women are waiting for a dog has absolutely nothing to do with it. So let's go. No, this is wrong. I want to come across and change it in visuals. So what I can also do is to make this quicker, I can see the highlighted part here is what's matching for the text here. So if I select any of these, it's going to change the relevant video. And I could go, okay, it says these dogs are notoriously adorable in appearance. Okay, so let's go visuals. I'm going to go English Bulldog. And there we go. We could just highlight one of those and it's automatically going to match it. We can then play it to make sure the video is long enough for that scene. It doesn't repeat or loop. These dogs are notorious for their adorable appearance with their wide heads and plump bodies. Perfect. So it didn't loop. So it means the video time was long enough for that particular scene. And again, we can just go through each scene, making sure it matches what we want. So I initially definitely want a bulldog at the start of the video. And I could go visuals, bulldog again. Let's select that one. So I want a cute bulldog to start that scene. There are many types of dogs to choose from each with their own unique features and personalities. So great. Perfect. Now, I, as I said, don't always like text in all of the videos. So I could remove it from this scene. And if I selected that, I could remove it from the whole of the video, or I could just decide that some scenes I want text and some scenes I don't. It's completely up to you. It's completely personal preference, but that is it. You can go into here and change the style if you want for the different text styles. You can add your branding so you can add your logo and change some of the visuals here. So you can have an intro logo if you want. I would probably put your, your logo in the top corner and you can change different things in here, such as the template itself, the scenes. So where the logo is as well, and perhaps what you want to show for the outro. I really don't change that much. I like to have a bit of text. I then 
personally do a little bit more editing outside, but you don't have to. This is absolutely fine. I know a lot of people that just do this. As long as you have an original voiceover then, and your script is original, then it's absolutely fine. This is going to work perfectly for you. And if you want to preview the entire video, you can just select this. I won't do it because it'll take a moment to generate, and then you can actually just watch it in full and decide if anything else needs changing. And just go through, through them all and make sure each scene matches the type of video you want to go with the text. And then that's it. When you're ready, select Generate Video, and then you will have your video that is ready to upload to YouTube. And you saw how fast that was. Now, even with recording the voiceover, this would be easily done in under an hour. Now, as a bonus, I did say to you I was going to show you how to ethically steal your competitors' video scripts. And the way we can do this is we could say, okay, I actually don't want to take it from an article or a blog. I actually want to take one of the best videos out there that's doing very well. So if we can come down, we can say 27,000, 12,000, owning a bulldog, what you need to know, not quite on the same subject, but lots of views. Keep coming down. English Bulldogs, pros and cons. Okay, that's probably potentially an interest, interesting one. Why you get, why you should get an English Bulldog. Four reasons. Amazing. Look at that. Nearly a million views. So I want to steal this. I want to take their script. Let's see what they're saying. Well, literally no wording at all. So that's an original video by the looks of it, but not very helpful. Coming down. Okay, so for the sake of this video, let's go for what the next one was, which was 110,000 views. The English British Bulldog is one of the most popular purebred options. Now, as you can see, this is actually a robotic voice. So someone's made this a long time ago when robot voices were probably okay. So again, just because you see that someone's using a robot voice doesn't mean you should. Because these people are probably not making money from these videos anymore. But you can see they've broken it down. And in, again, in the training that I will put links in the description to, I'll show you how to do just about every single step you could possibly need to be able to create your profitable YouTube channel. So all of these different things and how to write the content and everything else and upload it properly, do your research. I'll go through all of that in detail if you want to know exactly how to do that. So I'll put links to that in the video description. But what we can see here is that they, they've broken it, it all down. There's many different points. And I could watch this video and go, this is great. I really, I really want to take this script. And what we do is we come down here and we click on these three dots here and we go show transcript. And that gives you the transcript down the side here. And then we go toggle timestamps. And all you have to do is you can take all of that and you can copy that across and put that straight into your document instead or have it in a Word document where you keep taking pieces to come across for the different points and get it to, again, generate additional content for you. Or you could get it just to re-spin different sections to make that script your own. So that's how you could easily ethically steal. If you can't find any good articles or blog posts, but you have lots of great channels out there that are creating videos that you want to duplicate and write a similar script from, then this is how you would get the transcript easily of their video. That's it for today's video. I hope you found that useful. If you want to know more about YouTube automation and making money on YouTube, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Again, I'll put all of the relevant links that you need in the video description, and I'll see you inside the next training video.